Hey there, Slavis here, back with another episode of Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, we finished off Balance Valley, no, Starlight Canyon, and we acquired something new in the future here by completing Balance Valley. So, let's take a look and see what's new. powerful consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with this consciousness. So they're all being controlled? They're acting of their own free will. They're evil from the beginning, just like Griffin himself. In other words, they've sold their souls to the darkness. Griffin is using those people and trying to destroy the world. What does he plan on getting out of that? Who knows? But I believe the only way to stop him is to go to his time and destroy him there. Go back 10,000 years? That's right. But how can we go 10,000 years in the past? Your Atlamelia can only travel 100 years at best. Those stones were never intended for this kind of thing. So what can we do? A 10,000 year leap through time? I don't even know if it's possible. But if it could be done... Go on. Those from the Luna Lab would be the ones that could do it. Luna Lab? Luna Lab is short for Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. It used to be the largest research facility in the world. It was on the Venikio coast. Was? You mean that it's vanished now too? Yes. So, the Venikio coast is next. So, that settles it. You'd better get going. Thank you, Crest the Great Sage. See you, Lynn. <laughs> My master, watch over those children. Look after those who saved me. Lynn was a sage and had become strong. 
I'm sure Crest had become a star and was looking down on Lin from above. Because for Lin, Crest would always be the one true sage, forever. Great, you're just in time. We're ready to go again. Just let me know when you're all set to go. All right, our next objective or destination is the Benicchio Coast. But I have some stuff I want to take care of. Thing oh, actually. One thing I forgot, I need to buy something from this guy. I do not want to leave. I can't buy anything from you? Okay, well. I'll have to buy the roller foot for the ride pod in the next area, probably. Or maybe I'll go back to Sindane and buy it. But now that we can access the second floor... Oh, something happened in the future again. Let's go check that out again. It looks like Starlight Temple has been completely restored. And it's all thanks to you two. Please, take this. Thank you, Great Sage. Oh, very good! <laughs> Got the serpent slicer. Let's take a look at that. Fifty four attack. What do we have on ours? Sixty. Ooh. I'm. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> That's Monica's weapon. Forty five. Hmm. Tempting. Might go with the Serpent Slicer instead. Ooh, we can go into three different paths. It has 43 durability right away. This has 42. Oh, what do I do? I'll think about that. I'll probably end up going with the uh, Serpent Slicer. But we'll see. This thing... Oh, it's a scoop. Moon Crystal is a scoop. Okay. Is that anything? Hey. No. Uh, I'm gonna look around for treasure here. And then we're gonna go to Sindane train station area and buy the roller foot. And then we're gonna talk to Donnie about the scoops. And then we'll probably be moving on at that point. All right, so I just bought the roller foot. Now we're gonna go talk to Donnie. There he is. Dig for scoops. One more scoop. Two new scoops. And let's take a look at what he found. Find the golden egg. Okay. So moon crystal is the scoop he figured out, but we already had that, so. That's good. Alright, let's head to Balance Valley Station, and then we'll attempt to move on to the next area. Which I already forgot, forgot the name of. I want to leave. Alrighty, let's move them out. Ocean, here we come. Smell that ocean breeze. 
So this is what the ocean smells like. What? You've never been to the ocean before? Yeah, well, I've seen pictures and books, though. Wow. All righty. We'll be right here waiting for you. Hey, now it's the bridge that's down. Leave it to us. Thanks a lot. Well, let's get going. All right. Fun fact, I don't remember getting this far, but I remember this song. So, I've been here for sure, but I don't remember it. Is that a palm tree? <gasps> Waterfall, laundry, and palm tree. Let's see what else there is quick. We already have windmill. We did not have windmill. Let's see if we can make anything with that that stuff. Okay, waterfall, laundry, and palm tree. Soap. Say cheese. And that's it for now. Well, I suppose I better cross that off. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget about it and attempt to invent it again. Okay. Anything else up here? Nope. put Eric in our team and make some bombs. Oh, can't carry anymore. Let's sell a couple and then make some more. I think he makes three bombs at a time. put Borneo back on our team because I like items and item drops and things like that. It's my usual go-to in games like this. I'm gonna save. All right, let's go check out Vinicio. set out on this journey, then I never would have seen the sea. There are still so many things in the world that I haven't seen. Right then, I wanted to see them all. But more than even these wonderful things, I wanted to see your smiling face, Mother. Chapter 4. Goodbye, Shingala. So this is the ocean. Are you a s Luna Stone Shards? What? Oh. Okay, I got a picture from just taking a picture of the water. Or taking a picture of the water. Let's see if I can snap any pictures here. Is that a Triforce? No, it's just a triangle. Sunshade. Red House. OK. 
Okay. So, we probably need to go to the check out that cave. I can't go over there. Windmills. Nothing else, it looks like. Oh, that's our Giorama area. Oh. Okay. Looks like there might be a couple caves in this area. Nope. Invisible walls in video games is irritating. Looks like there's a light in here. Pal's house. You mustn't move it. I said not to move it. What do you want? I'm a bit tied up right now. That's a Shigura, isn't it? He's still a child. Ah, so you know about them, do you? I gave him a name. I call him Shingala. He turned up here lost about a month ago. Every year at about this time, the Shigura come from the south and live on these shores for a while. This one must have got split up from the tribe. I'm Pau. I live in this cave. How's it going? I'm Maximilian. I'm Monica. Is Shingala injured? Yeah. He slipped from the cliff yesterday and took me with him. I didn't think human medicine would be any good. Damn it. Sorry about this, but I need to ask a favor. Can you watch Shingala while I go and look for some medicine? Outside the cave, there's a place where some Shigura are gathered. I think if I go there, I might be able to find some medicine that'll help. Watch him? What do we do? Just watch him. I'll be as quick as I can. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute! Aw, oh, man, he's just gone! <laughs> How come we get stuck here babysitting some sea dragon? The nerve of that kid! Oh, it's not that bad. This big guy's pretty cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the matter with him? He's headed outside! You've got to stop him! It's no good! the sea! We've got to follow him! Okay! And there's a secret lesson in that. Don't let strangers watch your sea dragon. Oh, Ocean's Roar Cave. This must be, yes, the dungeon. Alright, what's the layout look like? Okay, I, w I was going to say it's pretty simple, but... Okay, it's still pretty simple. Just, just one branch off of it. Kind of like the Rainbow Butterfly would. Well, I'm not going to start the dungeon yet. We're going to run into Pal's cave and take a picture of anything we need. Doesn't look like there's gonna be anything in here. Rug, I guess that's something. Oh, wait. 
Fish River Lafreshia stick. that can take a lure. Well, we don't have any lures, but maybe when we find one, we'll make that, the rod there. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're not going to run into the dungeon just yet. At the start of the next episode, we will. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode. See ya.